And welcome back to Way Mouth to Stay. <laughs> Laura has a problem with that question. She's like, no way could he be a catcher. <laughs> right. I was sure but it was first baseman. But what can't he do, really? True, true. <laughs> they I saw the early clips when he got drafted, and he looks like a stiff robot. But, you know, hey, five <laughs> Super Bowl rings. You know, what I, you know, say? I know, I know. And, he keeps, and he's like 40-something now, is there Just 40? Just 40? Yeah, he's old now. <sighs> There you go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, back on track. We're going to travel right. down the road now to White Birch Books. This is White Birch Books Corner right here on the table here. And Laura comes through uh, probably at least once a month. Yeah, and once a month. the usually. latest stuff in the store. So this store is amazing. And tell us where you're located. We are located. We're south of here. We're um, just south of the park in the community center. We're across the street from TD Bank. And um, yeah, we now share the parking lot with the new Pinkham Real Estate Looks Office. Gorgeous. I know it's quite yeah. nice. We, um, it, every morning I'm like, I'm so glad it's not a defunct gas station anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, the thing is, you always, I mean, your little corner that you had was always such a pleasant spot with the flowers and you painted a couple years right. ago. It's just, and it's a unique building with beautiful windows. So your spot, yes, right. defunct gas station gone. That's yes, a positive, and they did such a beautiful job, and now yeah. it's just a little more open, a little more inviting. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's really funny. We've had people come in, and they've said to us, you know, they always say, how long have you been here? And I was like, well, we've been in this location for like 20 years. And they're like, this is our first time here. But, uh, you know, but yeah. It's like once they get in, then they're like, we're definitely coming back. Yeah. And it's too bad it took us 20 years, but hey, um, they'll yeah. come back. Right, right. And again, <laughs> so. that's a positive. And, right. and once you guys do get into White Birch Books, you'll find out too that it's one of my favorite places to shop. And it's sort of like, you know, when you have to shop for the holidays, sometimes right. you're like, oh my gosh, I have to go. Yes. I have to go there. When do they open? <laughs> like drive by. I'm like, she opened yet? But it this is, is supposed why. to be fun. Oh, yes, it is. It it's is. So much stuff. It's not just books, as you can see, but a lot of great gifts that you can find. Right. And that's what we try to do this time of year, especially, is to have that mix for mm -hmm. everybody. And I love it. You know, we have the customer who will run in and want that very specific thing mm -hmm. or only come up to the counter, and that's fine. But then you have the customer who spends like an hour there, and the stuff they bring up, it's like, oh, my God, you hit every single corner of the store. <laughs> and I just want to like, congratulate them. in there? Sometimes? sometimes I'm like, oh, my God, I love this. Do you, you have know? to do like the final shout, like, anybody in here? <laughs> that's happened once or twice where somebody's upstairs yeah. on one of the couches up there, and it's like, ah, you know, we both scare each other type of thing. <laughs> so upstairs, you did redid upstairs too, right? Um, we did. Like we moved some places. things around, and so for right now, like the middle grade books, which are really exploding, um, such good books up there. We moved those into a section where you can see them all on the wall, whereas before it was kind of chopped up. You had right, to right. go around a circle. Right. <laughs> Oh, they're streaming again. Oh, great. Um, and so so that, and then that opened up like where our picture books were. So you, you just get a yeah. lot better okay. visual when you get up there. When and you say middle grade, what does that mean? Middle grade is kind of like maybe 8 to okay. 13. So middle kind school. Of, okay. Right. right. And, um, and then the young adults are down next to the, um, the grown-up books because they don't necessarily well, want to hang up with the, the kids. Well, sometimes the young adult is like, whoa. You know, yeah. so it, that's why I'm so glad that your staff is on hand because you're like, you know, is this appropriate for? Right. Because they can get up into some subject. And I'm like, we're not quite ready to tackle that yet. Right. So well, we have that a lot where you have very um, advanced readers, but they're still really young and mm -hmm. you don't necessarily, I mean, so so you do have, which is why it's exciting that the middle grade um fiction is getting so good now mm. because even though it's still there it they're they're advanced themes they're advanced um stories they're complex and everything so people can still read in the age group they really should be reading in without getting into the dark angsty stuff of later teens <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> yes. I just started sweating I know. <laughs> right. they so love let's, get that into, stuff. <laughs> let's get into some great products here this is a movie this now. is a movie Ferdinand the I Bull I brought here we'll move the kid. llama out of the way for a second and this we have the book as itself but this is a <laughs> so set cute. um that comes with the little bull and I have been <laughs> watching the um you know the previews yeah. for the movie and i've just fallen in love with ferdinand he's so sweet and nice Ferdinand again yes. i know because we all remember this growing up um, and it was a wonderful book right um, so this is just a really nice package yeah. of it and everything again we have the book as well but i just think mm. you know the little bull yeah. and especially after it's seeing like, the movie people are gonna right. and this is a great new baby gift too it looks like it looks i'm, I'm not sure it have to be 
look on the age appropriateness. Oh um, yeah, because it's a board book in there, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, and with the with the you know, and Ferdinand can teach you to be nice and sweet oh. to other people. So awesome. I just think that's fun. And then I did bring my llama, <laughs> which which llama llama goes with a llama I, llama, llama, llama started as llama llama red pajama. Oh sorry, this. <laughs> oh, I cut his head off, but um, and now this book he goes with llama llama holiday drama, <laughs> which we we try to avoid, but um, again it's just a cute little package for the little kids. Um, in your life and things like that. And we try to do that a lot is package, you know, put together yeah. some things. We have some cute um, teddy bears and yeah. mooses and is moose, mooses, do you say mooses? Or mooses is, we like to say. Or is it just moose without <laughs> the like, S? It goes a double incorrect, make yes. it actually correct. <laughs> <There> you go. <laughs> More than one moose. Right. Um, moose. So yeah, it so is, we do have the fun stuff for the kids. Um, and cards, if you still have to get your cards out and you don't have time to do the yes. photo one, which most people don't, but right. these are gorgeous. I brought a little sampling. What we try to do with our um, holiday it. cards is we try to cover everything. And you can get your traditional Merry Christmas. You so can go cute. season's greetings, um, you know, Happy New Year, things like that. We have some of the traditional um, scenes like church scenes or manger scenes so or things cute. like that. We really try to get a little bit of everything. Oh so um, everybody, and we've had a lot of fun. I know, I love the little Scotties. Oh my um, gosh, so, <laughs> so cute. And again, if you don't celebrate Christmas, they have the season's greetings. Yes, then we, you know, we so really try to cover, you know, because holidays are a very personal time. You can celebrate yeah. them how you like. Exactly. Um, and uh, so we have, you know, I have way too much fun buying cards. It's one of my favorite <laughs> things. Now, what are these journals, these beautiful? I brought those in just to show because this is also a time of year Let for um, people with the journals. And this is just a small sampling, but these... I like these because these are very fancy, mm -hmm. um, and so whatever you write in them obviously is elevated to a certain level because yeah. they're in something so pretty. Yes, <laughs> Even absolutely. if you just write, you know, well, like, I hate my brother. Oh. <laughs> it's, still, it's just better in one of yeah. these. So th this is one line we have, we, and they also, we have some that are larger sized, mm -hmm. and we have some that are lined and some that are blank. I was going to say, these are lined. Um, and we also have some leather journals and things like that. I mean, a journal is a very fun um, thing to get as a and present this time of year. writing, which yes. is great. Reading and writing, exactly. very important skills to have throughout life. These are our fun little plus plus toys. I think I've brought these on before. So each tube has, this is a pastel one, and I've, I'm not sure. Basic mix. Basic says. mix. And we do have some of them that are actually make something yeah. like I think these. are very these. minecraft -y. They look like um, Minecraft. That's the neon one. But this one is like a superhero. Oh, so everything cute. can, I mean, you can do whatever oh, you want cute. with it. Yeah. Um, I, I imagine that like after Santa comes through that these would be a great thing for parents to be like, boop. Yes. And plus, you know, fit right in a stocking. Yeah. And perfect. everything like that. And so they're really fun. The kids, um, we had to, you know, like triple order them because <laughs> we just kept going through them. So they're a lot of fun. Right. And the, of course, these are for a certain age, not for babies. No, not for babies. <laughs> it's funny. We, no. have, we have a little sample of them that uh -huh. are out there. And every day they end in a different configuration because <laughs> the kids get to them and oh, play with them. Whoa. I know. Look at that. What? Now, what? so it, like the movie? Yes, you remember the Princess Bride when the grandfather is reading the book to um, whatever the kid's name was in bed, I, the Wonder Years boy. <laughs> anyway, oh. he had a big old leather book that he opened, and so that is what this is. This oh. is like the read out loud um, Princess Bride that you can sit and read together as a family. It's got great old no pictures like, and everything like that. What age would you say this is for? Because I've watched the movie, I'm like, huh. I know, I they think it's for any age. Anything. It's okay. obviously, if you love the movie, it's a great gift item. Um, if you like reading as a family, yeah. I mean, The Princess Bride is a wonderful story. And really, you could read it to your kids at, at any age, um, you know, and things like that. So. I love finding, or when my son was little and would actually listen, I used to love to find books that you could read out loud, that you, um, that you enjoyed yeah. reading as right. much as they enjoyed listening. Yes. And, um, you know, there's so many books that are repetitious or right. whatever. Like I, Or they don't give you enough credit. Like they don't, you right. know, they, it's... 
I mean, I love reading in. like Charlotte's Web Out Loud oh, was a wonderful gosh. course. I cried and my oh, son gosh. was like, stop crying. But anyway, <laughs> I just <laughs> fall asleep. That's my problem. <laughs> so I just think it's fun to have a um, book. And so you can really use this. This could be your own. Oh, you know, gosh, you love yeah. The Princess Bride yourself or um, somebody so Anyway, that's what that is. I'm yeah. I think I'm going to get this. That's it's kind of fun. Yeah, I'm doing my shopping. <laughs> okay. um, do you want? What are those gift gift tags? Little mitten gift tags. Can you reach those? I you can. Want no, okay. I can get those. This is just a, another thing to go with the Christmas cards to show that we have some fun stuff. Um, oh. So you have little mitten gift tags or little Scotties. Oh, oh, if if you cute. go a little further than just the two from yeah. sticker, right. No, Which you I'm get, a two from you sticker a, kind of gal, but I am in um, a pinch. But these it elevates the whole present, right? And and so the Scotty, you tie it on, and he's got a little two from you right on the back. Oh. I just think those are so cute. Um, yeah. That's very anyway. Martha. I like to call things that like there step you go. Above very Martha. So even that's, if you do a couple presents mm -hmm. to elevate the tree, you know, this is a wicked smart word game. One up. We just got this from a gentleman. He created this with his kids. It kind of is. A little bit Scrabble, a little bit Bananagrams, but with a little bit something new. You've got word letter tiles in there, okay. and you, as you spell words, the the fun part is is that if you can add or change a word, you can steal it Ooh. from somebody. So when we were talking to him, he's like, "Kids love it because they can steal oh, from their parents." <laughs> no. Oh, as long as it's not from each other. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. They're mostly stealing from the grown-ups and everything. Oh, so. It comes in. I that deal with that well. My kids do not. <laughs> right. It comes in that cute little package, it or there's a travel one that's oh. even smaller. It looks like a little sardine can, and in that case, the tiles are um, little kind of cardboard as opposed to wooden tiles. Oh, in these this are. One. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of that fun. That is fun. All right. And how about this? The drink, laugh, paint. Well, you know, we all know the sip and paints and where you go somewhere. So this you can do right in your own home. <laughs> you don't even have to go. You don't have to go <laughs> Which is good anywhere. if you're drinking. <laughs> um, it's just a way to turn in, um, you know, one of your own home parties into something yeah. a little different. And uh, um, So what does this include? Like, Well, it's kind of got everything. It's got the different... Um, I am surprised whenever I see those things how everybody's paintings are so good. But so it has um, the different painting things you can do, and just uh, it just it's just the whole here. kit Shh. for you um, and Let's everything. See. I don't think it, has... it comes with the drink portion that you have <laughs> yeah, to maybe. provide. <laughs> it, the flask is flask is inserted. Right, in. and the laughing comes with yeah. it, and so the 164 um, page manual with an easel, step by step instructions, full color photos for eight wonderful paintings. Right. And also has a 32 page booklet containing art supply suggestions, party and drink ideas, and more. 16 postcards too to invite friends and to family. invite your friends. Oh, right, cute. Look if at that. you're getting really fancy there. Yeah. So it's just that's a fun cute. little kit, yeah. and uh, that's what this time of year, and I, I will pull this Posting out party. just because, so this is our fun, um, you know, why go out? You can make <laughs> your own flight night at home. So this is something you could do with the party, too, you know, get a bunch of different ah. beers, have a beer tasting. You know, usually if you go out, you can buy, you can get this or something, you know, and it right. gives you the whole sampling, and usually they're... Um, you know, beers from lighter to darker right. uh -huh. or something like that. So you could do it at home Great. with your own flight night. So there's eight three ounce beer glasses, two flight serving paddles, 48 full color instructional book, and then a notepad for recording Who knew you tasting needed an scores. Instructional book. <laughs> <laughs> and a card featuring tasting terms. There you Only go. Only tasting terms allowed. Yeah, so you can up your game <laughs> with you this. That's so awesome. next time you go out, you can you can be speaking the speak as <laughs> right. it were it's like wine, our beer is getting closer and closer to wine isn't it <laughs> it is it is oh that's very cool all right so you've got your adult party right suggestions there so i'm going to do one last thing because okay. i know we're probably creeping on the time Chris here is but starting to look at us. yes i know so this book the girl in the towers by katherine arden this book just came out it's the second hmm. in a trilogy the first book is the bear and the nightingale we love this book. We love this series. She is actually going to be coming here in January, January 12th, for an author luncheon, and we can't wait. She's this young author. She's from Vermont. These books are basically taking old Russian fairy tales ah. and folk tales and have made this whole story. And I know there are people out there who say, oh, I don't read fairy tales. I don't read folk tales. Well, 
it's it's so much more than that. It's it's really um, it's really the crossroads of time. You know, when like old ways mm -hmm. are giving way to new ways. Mm -hmm. So our character is is at that time and where you had fairies and demons and you had to leave bread for the different fairies and things like that. But then organized religion is coming and saying, no, forget all of that. Mm. And so it's just this um, crossroads of, um, you know, when a culture leaps ahead to something else. And it is so good. They, they're, and this it, is young adult, you say? No, or? this is an adult. adult. I mean, though, though teens could definitely read it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just lush and beautiful, and you can tell just by how, mm. you know, so that's that's why an actual real book, I mean, this package just makes you think, you know, there's stars and the colors and the yeah, silver. Um, so we love this book, and we're so excited. She actually stopped by the store, and um, we, Nicole and I were like, uh, you know, little teeny boppers. I, you know, I keep saying like at a Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> so is each one separate or do you have to read the whole trilogy to you'd, understand? You'd want to read them in order. And okay. uh, the reason I don't have the first book is because we keep selling it. <laughs> so um, Darn it. Yes. And the third book is not out yet, though. I think she has it written. So it's going to okay. be coming soon. Okay. And um, can you do one more? We just loved her. Okay. Can we, you want to look at this one? Or whichever. Let's whichever do you this want. one. Okay. This is another one of our hot sellers for this time of year. It's here we are. It's a. It makes a wonderful um, baby gift. I know it's like a big picture book, but it really kind of grounds you. Um, you know, it lets somebody know exactly where they are. Like the first picture, the first spread is the solar system, and it's like. Um, you know, here, here we are. Well, maybe not that. Maybe it's like oh, the it's, first well, page. The, but what do you call the page in between the? Oh, the end pages or something. End pages. So it's like it shows <laughs> the whole solar <laughs> she system. She a bookstore. <laughs> and then there's Earth. Here we are. And it's like, you are here. And then down in the corner, it's like, not drawn to scale um, <laughs> and everything. But it kind of, it, it explains like, you know, and then it goes on to explain like Earth is, you know, made up of land and water and this yeah. is what's on land and oh, this is what's cool. in so the it's water like a little bit of science but it's drawn right and like it's like you know and, you yeah, are a right. human and humans are made up of this and things like that so mm. it's, it's just a really cute hmm. you know notes on where yeah. you know, who you are where you are and and everything like that so we've been getting a kick out of that book. oh fantastic and all these you can find right in the bookstore all this stuff that I'm gonna buy so you won't get these items, <laughs> but she has others. She we has have tons of more. others. And when are you open? We're open this here. Well, I'm just gonna throw this in for fun. This is this is on your morning, your bad list. Oh you know, my gosh. Give me a noun, Look give me an how adjective, big this give me an adverb. So, you know, oh. of course you give this to boys. What are what what are their nouns and adjectives gonna be? <laughs> Toot. <laughs> yes, yes, over and over and over again. So is this um, all Christmas-based or is it all different all kinds? It's all Christmas-based, <gasps> wow. so it's pretty darn funny. But oh you asked gosh. when we're open. We're open 9.30 to 6, um, Monday through Saturday, and 10 to 5 on Sunday. On Christmas Eve, we'll only be open till 4. Okay. And um, but then and Christmas Day closed? Oh, Christmas Day is Thank completely you. closed. Good. <laughs> and this is actually not all Christmas. It's all different. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's so all this fun. is like spies. I see spies, and there's there's a holiday section, but it's all the sections that you could probably get from Mad Libs. Right. And I think Mad Libs are great. You actually learn what the so different word funny. parts. You know, what's an adverb? You right. Know? Right. <laughs> Has to end with an ly for the most part. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Well. All right. All these again at White Birch Books and online. Can they find online, you? Um, you can shop with us online, or um, a lot of people just go online, look stuff up, shoot us an email, awesome. or leave us a message, or things like that. We've um, been doing a lot of online orders this uh, holiday season, and um, basically get in touch with the, you know, it, 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 the days are past where you actually have to come in the store. A phone call, an email, there, anything. I mean, we want you to come in yeah. the store, but you can don't have to. Can they still do special orders in time for Christmas? We still can. Basically, it's going to get tight next week. I think Wednesday is going to be our last ability to really do okay. um, a special well, order. And, and it'll, I, <laughs> I yeah. was expecting like Oh, last no, week. we have next day shipping. I mean, that's, of course, if the weather, um, right. op, you know, so don't cooperate wait. Don't and wait. Yeah. yeah don't don't wait too long <laughs> awesome well laura always a pleasure well thank you and have a great christmas i don't know if we're yeah, going to see you before i don't think so All i right. think i'll be 
toiling out away. Partying and, and I shouldn't say toiling because I love this time of year. Yeah, and it, not just because people are buying things, but because they come in and they're in a good mood yeah. and we have great conversations and it's just really fun. I see all my, fa you know, all our great customers right. and people at Fitzing. People are in a good mood. Excellent. And, Excellent. And folks, if you haven't been to White Birch, really it is a treat to get on over there and visit uh, with the staff and see the bookstore because there really is something in every corner. They have yeah. socks, they have books, they have all these gifts. Uh, in addition to the books. Um, so Laura, thanks again. Thank you. All right, folks, we have to move along. We have another watch and when to do. We have another weather, and we're going to take a look at the snow report, too.